get an idea of how you prepare for today's shoot, um, what kind of beauty and uh, hair secrets you'd like to share with our readers? Oh. Um, <laughs> how I prepare for today's shoot. It was fairly easy. Like the team that I work with today is like super talented and it was it really wasn't hard getting everyone together. You know, keep lessons to the video and um, my homegirl Elle, makeup by Elle, is doing my makeup and Stavisha is styling and Kadeem Ellis is snapping away over there. And, um, you know, Sahar, who's like, you know, she's like my right hand. She just like pulls everything together. So it was just like, it was really good to put it all together. Why? No. You've got a great I, team. I do. I love you. them. <laughs> and I have to say, you have great skin. Thank you. So I want to know, like, what is your daily regimen? How do you maintain such a um, I use uh, Dermalogica products, super dope. Um, there's this, uh, I don't know the name of the product, but it's like an oil that I put on my face to like dissolve all the makeup. And then I just recently got a Claire Sonic Mia, okay. which is like, Viva! It's teaching me something now. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of money, but it's honestly worth it. Like it's just, it's made my skin a lot smoother. My pores are a lot like smaller and like, it's like, it's to the point where like I use it and I feel bad putting makeup on because it leaves your skin feeling so good. And where did you purchase this? Sephora. Sephora. Got that ladies? Sephora. <laughs> okay. So how do you define your personal style and how do you incorporate it into your profession? Um, I guess my personal style is a mix of a little bit of everything. I like to be comfortable but I also like to glam things up a little bit and I like to follow trends but not too much in the sense where it's like you can't wear it next week. Exactly. So I try to like buy classic pieces, but then buy pieces that are really quirky and you know, I guess one of a kind and you know, stuff that I could wear for years and years and years and years. Okay, hopefully. Practical but if I remain the same week. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, and I had a peep over at your shoe. Mm -hmm. So I have to say your shoe game is dope. Thank you. Um, how do you incorporate that into DJing? Do you put Comfort over style? Hells yes. Do you? Yeah, honestly. Oh, wow. it's, it's DJing is no joke. Um, and the way my feet are, I can't wear heels for long periods of time. So right. when I don't have to wear heels, I won't. Because I know in the long run, it's not good for me, you know, like health-wise and, you know, your back and all that stuff like that. So I don't really try to, I don't, pu I don't push it. If I can't do it, I can't do it. You hear that lady? So comfort over style. Yes. So get it twisted. <laughs> okay, so who is your who, who are you drawn to as a designer um, currently? Mm -hmm. Um Catherine Mel Melodrino, if I'm pronouncing her last name right, she makes these dope like um, dresses that are like super it's like she knows how to like make clothes for women. Mm -hmm. Um who else am I feeling? I like, oh man, um, wow, Diane von Furstenberg, her wrap dresses are really nice, um, I like Halston, I like, I'm trying to think like what's in my closet, um, what is it in closet? Halston, I have, like a lot of, it's not really so much designers, but I'm into brands. Okay. So um, I'm really big on online shopping. Okay. So I just discovered a really cool like brand called Revolution Reach. They make these like printed sweaters, um, super dope design, super graph, like super cool graphics. I wear a lot of Legends League stuff, um, local designer here from Toronto, um, you know, uh, who else? Who else? I'm into. Um, I'm having a brain fart. But yeah, those two are the like two that I can think of off the top of my head. That's good. Um, so you were recently spotted wearing some really cool vintage gold bracelets, bangles from Dubai. Yes. Um, at the <laughs> Canadian Screen Awards. So, yeah. do you feel that uh, accessories are a big part of your personal style, or is it just something you kind of? It's not really, I'm not a really big accessories girl. I'm actually just starting to get into accessories. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, when you're DJing, you're using your hands. So I'm more, I'm like, when I'm online, I'm looking for like cool rings and cool bracelets and stuff like that. So, excuse me, the bracelets that I got at Dubai were just something that I picked up because they were really cool and unique. But they've been a staple in my wardrobe because they're gold and they kind of go with everything. Awesome.
Well, those are beautiful, by the way. <laughs> I saw them in the pictures. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> um, so what are your must-have beauty items that you can't leave home without? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> must-have beauty items that I can't leave home without. My MAC block powder. And <laughs> and honestly, my Palmer my Palmer's cocoa butter lip balm can't leave home without. I can that. agree with that. Only but goodie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Like you know. Oh, and mas and mascara. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um. So, what are your must-have items for spring? Must-have items for spring. It could be beauty items. Um, must-have items for spring. White shoes, which I have a pair of right now, yeah. and um, and just like pastel colors. It's always pastel colors is always spring colors, but like more so like blazers, pants, pantsuits, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm kind of really looking for online. It's for like really tailored pantsuits and like uh, peaches and blues and stuff like that. Um, okay, so next question. You have been dubbed the go-to girl for all things new and exclusive. That's okay, <laughs> So can you tell us about an upcoming designer that we should look out for this year? Ah, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she actually does custom design my dress. Her name is Stacy, and I can't pronounce the name of her, her clothing line, but I will give you a card so okay. you can put it in the bank. Okay. Yeah, but um, uh, her her dresses are super dope. She made this really cool custom made dress for me. It's like got mesh on the side. It's like floor length. It's got mesh on the side. It's really risque, but she's like she's super talented and she's from Toronto and she's doing her thing. Toronto. So yeah, yeah, we have some great local talent here, so keep your eyes peeled. Totally. Um, okay, so last question. You're into fashion, beauty. Do you think that in the future you would design a line, a fashion line? See, when I was younger, I used to like watch fashion tele television and watch and draw sketches. But my my passion has kind of shifted over to music. Mm -hmm. If I were given an opportunity, absolutely, because it's like you know, it's an opportunity to be creative and put stuff together and you know, kind of add your own style into something. That's like you know, it's having a line like there's lines everywhere but to add your own you know touch to it would be awesome so yes i would i would totally take up that opportunity so, so what would you design would it be shoes handbags oh um, dresses <laughs> you know what i think i would design headphones headphones yeah yes why not exactly Eva, fashion meets music yes perfect combination exactly everybody needs good sexy looking headphones. And I definitely buy a pair. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it was so great to get to know the fashion and beauty side of the musical genius. <laughs> and this DJ Lisa Mona. <laughs>